Hey guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, this is probably going to be like a kind of a long video. I don't know. I want to go over um, all of the stickers. I think I have all my stickers printed out in one form or another um, that are available in my shop and wanted to show you how I actually store them. So we'll start with how I store them. These are my small sticker sheets and this is just like a photo box. I got these on Amazon but you can also get these um, at Michael's and I think Michael's usually has them on sale for like $2.99. Um, and so I make these clear dividers and um, I am actually going to be adding these to my shop probably this week um, I tried doing like regular index card dividers but they weren't quite tall enough so I ended up having to put two together um, to get it tall enough so I need to like totally reorganize this if you can kind of see um, and then also like from I'd say right about here back is um, alphabetically organized with like printed labels and that's just that's too much work so all of my newer releases go to the front now nothing is alphabetically organized I just kind of know where everything's at um, because I put them here so that is um, these are like my decorative stickers and then I have a box um, for like these are like little icons um, and then this is all quotes and then I have like custom stickers divider um, like what is it the top tab divider labels headers um, like my month stickers and dates and whatnot are in this small one um, and then for my large stickers this is actually let me move this out the way uh oh this is called a card keeper um, and I got this at Michael's I actually got like five of them so and it's a good size box it comes with like these dividers um, to keep like greeting cards in and it also has a lid but I took my lid off and so I also make these dividers that fit perfectly in this box you can see that I have everything labeled here um, and then for my large stickers I don't pre-print a lot of them um, or pre-cut and print so I don't need as much storage for my large stickers so this is all I have of the pre pre-cut pre-printed pre-cut large stickers um, but I do have like some extra um, dividers here and then I just cut my own labels and I have a sheet of those back here so let's go ahead and go through I think I'm gonna show you I don't think I'm gonna show you everything that's in like the large box because it would just be too repetitive but I will go ahead and show you for if you're new here this on my website if you see something listed as a sticker kit that is just this one sheet um, which includes like some scalloped washi you can see there it's I call it washi it's not washi but it's a scalloped sticker that you can use as washi and then you just have like three usually on almost all of my sticker kits there's three different colors that match the um, decorative stickers so like this is coffee first so I just chose three different colors and you could actually decorate a whole spread, maybe even two spreads, with just these two sticker sheets. Um, we also have headers here, quarter boxes, half boxes, and then some long vertical boxes. So I think that's probably all I'm going to show you out of like the large box. So let me go ahead and just get this out of the way. And then I'll start going through my decorative stickers. <clears throat> So let's start, um, and like I said, new releases will be at the front. Um, so we have Farmhouse Thanksgiving, which is a new release. Um, really pretty turquoise colors. Then we have the two matching colorful boxes. These are the small sheets, of course, and the small colorful boxes come with the scalloped washi. We've got some teardrops. Let me grab, I'm going to grab one that's already been used so I don't take these off of the new one. Um, so we have two of these flag stickers. Let's grab some wax paper to show you. So we got two flags, and then we've got two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten round bullet points, 
we've got the scalloped washi there really cute and so we have also one two three four of these little flags and then we have one two three four five six six of the teardrop bullet points so and then also you have your quarter boxes and half boxes so the half boxes you have eight and you have six of the quarter boxes so this is a really good sticker sheet um, to decorate you know match your spreads and decorate um, like even classic mini you can use these in big too I, I mean I'm not particular about my sticker sizes like versus what planner I'm using okay so now that we've covered what the the um, small colorful boxes come with let me go ahead and show you real quick I'm gonna bounce around a little bit the I need a large colorful box I was gonna try to find one that's already been used here we go okay large colorful boxes come with of course the long vertical box a large like um double box I guess you would call it we've got one two three four half boxes a quarter box actually three of your quarter size boxes this long box here is meant to go to cover up like as a header on your dashboard layout where your Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday with the lines is um, that's what that's meant to do to cover there and give you a header you have two vertical boxes and then you also have three of these flags three teardrops and four squares bullets so you have nine different types or nine total bullets in three different types um, you also have it's so hard to see because I just print the whole page and then in one color and then cut it out two four six eight ten twelve round bullet points so I tried to use like utilize as much space on this sheet as I could so those are the stickers besides the boxes that come on the large colorful boxes okay back to the decorative stickers we have grateful and blessed um, let me also mention that I have three different types of sticker paper I'm gonna try to find here's two I'll show you so we have white removable which is a white mat um, sticker paper but it is easily it's not as sticky as the mat because I also have white mat let's see if I can find a white mat don't know if I have any here's one so you can kind of see the I don't know if you can see it on camera this is a little bit more of a dull color white this is more of a bright white this is really sticky um, so it's not as easily removed off of your page once you lay the sticker down as easily removed as the white removable sticker paper is and then we also have a clear and so I try to keep these organized um, and so the clear is a clear matte of course it speaks for itself but it is not a glossy it's just a matte color or a matte um, style sticker sheet and it's about the same stickiness as the white matte okay so that was grateful and blessed let's do cozy gnomes cozy gnomes I just used this to decorate one of my spreads this week I love the buffalo plaid um, it's really cute a cute sticker set for fall then we have coffee first I love these colors apple harvest or harvest is the one I just showed you autumn charm these are so pretty I love these colors together so pretty and then the matching boxes like it's just oh it's so pretty um retro fall I really like these colors too like I like let me show you the boxes it's real pretty like mint color with the coral pink color so pretty and then here's like I called them retro retro because it kind of just has that like 70s wallpaper vibe <laughs> to me even though I wasn't alive in the 70s um spooky treats it's Halloween today so nobody's going to need those anymore unless you celebrate it all year or something I don't know um, and then we have Homebody. Homebody is a really, really pretty sticker set. 
You have Harvest Wishes, which is really pretty leopard print with gnomes. The little truck. I love it. Such a cute set. Sweater Weather. Love this, this set too. These stickers are, I have a time with like little sticker pieces everywhere. But I love the colors of Sweater Weather. And then we have Woodland Friends. This is another really cute, fun sticker sheet to do some cute fall spreads with. We have Jewel Tone Florals, which Jewel Tone Florals was actually um, an old style floral that I brought back and just kind of revamped it a little bit. So let's see if I can go ahead and put that up. That was an extra one. Neutral Fall, same thing about Neutral Fall. It's an older, older style floral that I had before that I kind of revamped and uh, re-released. These are really pretty too. Um, feeling Fallish. I Oh, there's one right there. So Feeling Fallish is this like really pretty fun fall colors. Cozy Vibes. This is one of my favorite. Just I love the pinks and the browns. I think it's so, so pretty. Um, Farmhouse Fall is another older style. I actually combined two different types, sticker style or designs. I combined them both um, and re what did I say? Oh, re-released <laughs> Farmhouse Fall. Um, hello, oh, Pumpkin Spice. Pumpkin Spice. Um, and then we have Hello Fall. This is another one of my favorites, just with the browns and the, the really pretty, like, kind of coral and orange. I love this, this sticker set. Elated, if you like pinks and navy blues, this, these are, like, gorgeous stickers invigorating very pretty fall set then we have exhilarating very very pretty again um, refreshing I love the yellows and the blues they're so pretty as a color combination for a spread um, it's fall y'all this is like really fun cute fall stickers um, let's see oh autumn gnomes I love autumn gnomes this is like a combination of I think I called them autumn flowers last year, but I didn't use the gnomes. So I kind of re-released this and I added the matching gnomes. Then we have late summer days. Really, really cute. Um, doting. This is when I tried different. Um, you'll see that doting, um, the colorful boxes are different. So like for the next two or three designs, I tried to kind of revamp my colorful boxes and I ended up not liking the way these were. So there's only a couple of my um, colorful boxes that are in those different styles. So anyways, doting is really pretty with the kind of like lime green, the, the purples, the pinks. I love it. Um, Beloved, let's see if I have one. Here we go. Another really pretty set with blues and pinks. These would be pretty for spring. And let's see. And then we have endearing. Please tell me. Okay, I do. Let's get a white one. I love these colors. I love the turquoise, the yellow, and the pink. I think they're so pretty together. We have boho. This is boho summer. Again, I love, if you can tell, like my favorite stickers for summertime have like this really pretty teal or even mint green or turquoise, all of the blues in with the pinks and the corals. I love those combinations. Um, we have book gnomes. These are like super cute little gnomes that are in like little reading corners. <laughs> um, falling asleep, taking a nap with their books, but really super cute. Um, I have strawberries. So you can tell we're going through like my summer stickers now. Um, brandy. And so some of mine have like people's names on them. This was over the summer. I took several of my releases for a couple months and did um, like to, I named them to honor my top customers for the previous month. Um, so these are some really pretty tropical florals that I named after Brandy. <clears throat> and then we have Dana. Same thing. Dana was one of my top supporters in my did I say followers earlier the supporters in my shop um, we have Independence Day really cute for 4th of July 
Karen. Again, these are named after one of my top supporters. Same thing with Ashley. Really pretty sunflowers with the pink in them. And then we have Melissa. Sonia. These really pretty purples. These look really good paired with gray stickers like from my Tranquil collection. We have Yvonne. Really pretty colors for spring or summer. Um, Judy. These are like super pretty for summertime. Sarah. I love these. Like I can already see I'm going to be using a lot of these this spring. Um, I have 4th of July gnomes. <clears throat> then we have Paradise. Oh, I don't have Paradise. Let me see if I have one in the big for you. I do. Okay. So Paradise is just like what it sounds like. It's just like a super tropical with your little, um, I don't know if those are two cans or what they are, and your flamingos. Um, then we are going into what I actually have alphabetically organized. So we have Adoration. Really pretty um, bright colored florals. Alluring Lavender. It's got your lavender with your yellows. Super cute. Really pretty for spring or even Easter. Um, we have Autumn Delight. These are really cute. Really pretty for, for fall. We have some cute winter ones here. This is Baby It's Cold Outside. I love these stickers. They're so pretty. Um, it's just got like your white poinsettias, blue poinsettias, and like some gold and some um, teal color green. Just really pretty color combination. And then we have bee gnomes. So these are just little gnomes with like beehives. They, you know, they look like bees. So many <laughs> sticker pieces here, y'all. Um, we have Blissful. Another really pretty, be gorgeous for spring. Blithely, these are really pretty. These are some really pretty fall colors. Um, if you want, if you think about it, they would go for summer and fall. I love those. Um, breathtaking, some really pretty um, springtime, summertime florals. Then we have bright sunflower. Let's see, here we go. These are just really pretty um, dark yellow sunflowers with some red red florals in there as well. Bold Fall. We have Captivating. I love this sticker set for winter time. It just looks wintry to me. Um, I don't know, with the blues and the whites and the grays, I love it. Then we have Country Abode. This was one of my favorite spring sticker sets. I just, I love these colors. I don't know. I love the colors. Dainty, another one of my favorite sets. Um, again, I just love the colors. They're so pretty. Daydreaming. These would be perfect for winter time too. It just kind of reminds me of, I don't know, snowy something. I don't know. I like daydreaming for winter time. Debbie. So we still, we're still coming to some of the names that were named after my subscribers uh, or top supporters. Um, this is Delightful. Really pretty summer florals. We have Donna. Fairy Tale. I like Fairy Tale. These would be pretty um, for winter time too. Um, for some reason, just kind of like the blues and the whites remind me of winter time. So we have Fall Vibes. Looks kind of like a retro sticker to me. Um, this is Flourishing. I love these for summer, late spring. Just the yellow and the oranges. I love the colors. Graceful. This is another one of my all-time favorite for spring. Just these pinks and these like dark grays and kind of light browns are so pretty together. I love that sticker sheet. Harmony. Super pretty again. Is there not a is there a non pretty floral? Because if there is, just let me know. Because I keep saying these are all pretty, but they all are. Um, then we have Happy Easter. We have Hello Spring. I love these with the little birds. They're they're so cute. Um, we have Imperial. Really pretty again with the grays. Um, just like light pinks, dark pinks. I love this color combination. These will be really pretty for winter time as well. Um, irresistible. 
I love the um, like turquoise and kind of red together. It's, it's a very pretty combination. These would be good for fall, maybe even winter. Joyful. These are like the epitome of spring to me. I love just this is a perfect spring floral. Jubilant. Same thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Perfect springtime floral set. Love them. Um, I'm going to have to get a sip of water. My throat is dry. I'll be right back. Okay, I suck my scissors in there to keep my spot. Just blended, perfect for springtime. I love the pinks, the lavenders, just very pretty. We have ladybug gnomes. These are so cute for summertime. Um, I don't know, I just love them. They're, they're so cute with the red and black, yellow and the white. Very, very cute. And then neutral outline. I kind of forgot about these. These are perfect for fall. Um, just very, very pretty, delicate looking, very, um, I don't know the word, simple, simplistic looking, kind of outlined neutral florals. Very, very pretty for fall. And then we have Nobility. I kind of like these for wintertime, again, with the blues. Um, they could also be good summertime florals with the, the blues and oranges together. Outline florals. Oh, these are pretty for fall as well. I kind of forgot about these too, y'all. I'm glad I'm doing this video actually so um, I may use these on a spread here coming up soon if I can remember these are really pretty neutral fall colors I love outline florals and we have owls again cute for that is really cut crooked that one needs to go in the trash um, really cute for even fall but you could use these for spring or summer um, just really pretty muted pinks and blues we have pink gnomes. I actually had these for Valentine's Day um, because we have the pinks, the blacks, and the grays. Super, super cute. Probably going to use these again for this Valentine's Day um, coming up. Maybe I'll make some new stickers as well. And then we have peachy cream. These are also really pretty for fall. Gosh, I forgot I had all these pretty stickers, y'all. Um, so peachy cream, very pretty for fall. I mean, you could use them for summer as well, but these are like some really serious fall colors. We have Rapturous. I love, again, the lavenders, the purples, the pinks with the green. Just very, very pretty. Resplendent is kind of similar to Rapturous, except the colors are more bold. So this is more of like really a summertime type sticker. I love these. Then we have Royal Winter. Kind of forgot about these as well. These are perfect for wintertime. Um, with just like your deep dark colors with some like icy blues in there. Very, very pretty. Serenity. Perfect for spring or summer. I love these. I love them all, but you know. And then we have Simplicity, which is, you know, black and white. Very simple. Snowy Day. These are some really pretty winter stickers. Again, I love the colors. With your blues, pinks, a little bit of lavender, some silver. Very, very pretty. Spring Vibes. These are some of my favorites. These are really good sellers um, this past spring. Just, I don't know what it is about boots and bicycles for spring, but boots and bicycles are just like the, the deal for um, springtime. Then we have Sunshine on My Mind. These are perfect summer florals. Very, very cute. Um, lots of bright, summery colors. We have Sunny Days. These are a perfect Easter sticker if you're looking for some pretty tulips, um, pinks and yellows for spring. These are perfect for Easter, like an Easter spread. Susan is another one that's named after one of my follower or top, <laughs> top supporters. Um, really pretty summer stickers. It's got a little bit of lavender purple in here, but I like the blues and the yellows. Really pretty together. We have teal sunflower. These are great for fall. I released these last fall with your little teal car and then just like the pretty coral and yellows. I love these colors as well. We have tenacious. Um, just really pretty basic pink. Multiple different um, shades of pink and some greens in there. Tunisia. This is another one of my top supporters. These are Excuse me, great for summertime. Very, very bright, um, bold, dark colors. We have Thoughtful. These will be cute for um, spring, summer, and maybe even winter. I kind of question the yellow for the winter, but, you know, you could use these for winter if you like them. 
Then we have Tranquil. I love the um, the gray. I don't know what it is about pink and gray, but I love pink and gray as a, co a color combination. So we've got like corals, yellows, pinks, grays, all kinds of, I don't know, almost on the same spectrum type of colors with the gray. Very, very pretty. Then we have Vivacious. These are perfect for spring or summer. Um, kind of getting like late spring, early summer vibes here. Then we have Winter Beauty. These are great for winter time. I like these for like maybe a late January, early February spread, which is like kind of like the Valentine's colors. This would make a cute Valentine spread as well. Um, and then we have Winter Blooms. So with like your deep, almost mauve colored pinks, icy blues, really pretty. And then last but not least, we have Winter Woodland, which is just pine cones, um, you know, very basic wintry looking floral um, arrangements. Oh, okay, y'all. I think that's it for my decorative stickers. Um, you know, my quotes are all pretty self-explanatory because everything in here basically is going to be black and white. So I don't think I really need to go over this. Um, the photos of all of my script stickers, my headers, um, quotes, everything online is basically what you see is what you get because like I said, they're all black and white. So um, I don't know how long this video ended up being, but it's not too terribly long. I did want to show you real quick for my own personal use. These um, plastic envelopes have like a little Velcro closure on them. I got them on Amazon. I think I just searched five by seven plastic envelope. These are perfect. So like I have, let me show you, I have several of them. And so, whoops, I keep, so these are my dashboard headers. I actually don't even close them. I just kind of tuck the, the flap inside there. These are my dividers. These are my quotes. These are my florals. And then I think I have one for colorful boxes. So these little envelopes are perfect to store your small sheets from my shop in. And then they also on Amazon have these larger, I want to say this is a seven by nine. You'd have to search like seven by nine plastic envelope. If I can find the links, I will link them in the description below. These might even be listed on my Amazon storefront. I can't remember. I'll double check that before I post this video. Again, they have a Velcro flap. I don't use the flap. Normally what I use these for though is um, like this is stickers that I'm using for a current video. So each video would have its own little folder. Um, that's kind of how I use these. And then like I don't, I don't even want to show you what my large sticker organization looks like because it's not organized. It's all of my used large sticker sheets get thrown into a drawer. So yeah, they're not separated or anything. So I'm not even going to show that. So anyways, um, if y'all have any questions about anything from my shop sticker wise or anything that was covered in this video or not covered in this video, leave me a comment down below and I will respond as soon as I can. If you have a question you don't want to comment down below, go ahead and just send me, um, you know, like a private message either on Facebook or Instagram, either one. Um, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. So I think that's it for this video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it and you will give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're new here and you're not subscribed to my channel, or even if you've been here a while and you're not subscribed, it's free to subscribe. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're on Instagram, make sure you're following me there. So I think I'm going to film a couple more videos. Um, and I will see y'all on my next one. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye, guys.